Hi y'all, welcome to a quick tutorial to create custom county shape files for use in QGIS or some other GIS type software. Uh, this is going to be a really short video and really helpful for a lot of folks who want to cut down on the mass US county shape files that they may download from the internet and just make a custom shape file for their area. Uh, I'm specifically focused on weather related tutorials, so this will help you if you are trying to cut down for a uh, NWS CWA. Uh, or, or even just your own local forecasting area. So to start off, we're going to head over to my GitHub repo for this tutorial. It's linked down in the video description. So if you go over here, you are going to see a readme file and a uscounties.zip. We're going to, you can just ignore the readme file unless you want a little bit more information. Uh, but you can just go to uscounties.zip, click that, and then click download right there. And that will download to your uh, downloads in your file explorer on your computer. If we head back over to QGIS, we can sit here and then open up your file explorer. And you'll see that, that file that we just downloaded sitting right there at the top of your downloads. If you click that and then just drag and drop into QGIS, you'll see a little dialog box pop up. And you can just select CB underscore 2018 underscore US underscore county shapefile dot SHP. Click OK, and then click OK again. You can hit Enter here. Uh, we'll just click OK like that, and you'll see it load into your QGIS file. We can go over. I'm going to make a custom file for Western North Carolina. So I will zoom in. You can see um, I'm familiar with my area. I know the counties around here. So select the file that you just loaded in, your CB 2018 U.S. County 5 meter and then go to this option right here. You're going to want to select features by area or single click. So I'm going to click on that and then if you hold down the control button on your keyboard, you can select multiple counties at once. So I'm going to select all of the ones in West North Carolina that I want. These are the only counties that I want to see in my final product. So I will go like that. And now they're all highlighted in yellow. Uh, your background here may not be purple, it may be red or brown or whatnot, but nonetheless, you'll see the highlight yellow like this once you've selected them. If you have all the right counties selected for whatever area you'd like to do, just right click over here on the file we have loaded in, go down to export, and select save selected features as. You'll bring up an option to do a format. You're going to want to use an Esri shape file. And I like to set my CRS to the WGS84 uh, EPSG4326 here. And I will also save my file uh, to my downloads just like that. And I'm going to call it WNC Counties Demo, just like that. And then select OK. And you'll see that custom shape file that we just created, the counties that we had highlighted, are now loaded into QGIS all on their own. You don't have any of the extra clutter of the other counties in the United States. So that is the end of this tutorial. Uh, remember that you can like and subscribe for more QGIS weather related tutorials. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at eFisherWX or visit my website fisherwx.com for some more info on tutorials like this as well as some other weather goodies. So thank you and have a great day.